Hey, what's up everybody? This is Damron. We're playing Gears 5. We're doing all the collectibles, all the components, all the relic weapons, and all jack upgrades chapter by chapter. This is going to be a longer one. We're on Act 3, Chapter 4, the source of it all. But this is going to include a lot of the side missions, a lot of the you know open world collectibles. So there's a lot to collect in this guide. But if you've been staying with us, we're going to show you the locations of everything to get you all the achievements related to those collectibles so let's jump right into it um, when you're going to the old cog wall once you go through this door you'll have a little bit of a battle but eventually once you finish that you'll go up the ladder on the left side of the room and you'll find three components now let's deal with this gate situation so what do you think we're gonna find on the other side of this thing Hopefully, the truth. Once you've actually opened the door to the other side, and you'll see this beautiful view of the mountain in front of you, progress forward and turn to the right, and you'll see an electrical box with more components. Progressing on a bit, a little bit northeast from the wall, you'll bring you to this lake. Um, kind of, you can see here where I'm at, and uh, where I showed you on the map itself. But if you look on the cliff, you'll see that gear symbol. Run over there, and then behind that pine tree is the retro relic weapon. All right, progressing on from east of the cog wall, you'll see this area here on the map. So I'm above this little ice valley on top, and you'll see okay. this kind of buried dune buggy and snow with these crates on it. That's going to be our next collectible. All right, from that collectible, we're actually going to have to go across the ice bridge. So if you kind of follow my cursor around um, to where I am on the map, you'll see this large tank-like structure. In the snow, right in front of it, is our next component. From this component, hop onto the skiff and we're going to go south to the abandoned mine entrance. Um, immediately south of where we were, you'll see another one of those tankards right here on my left. Just in front of that, also in the snow, is another component. You know, I raided a few mines back in my rebellious youth. <laughs> Sounds fun. What kind of All right, from that collectible, we'll actually be entering into the um, abandoned mine entrance. As soon as you go through that gate, turn right, go up the snow where all these stumps are, and at the very end, kind of next to some wood, you'll find the torque bow relic weapon. And keep in mind, you got to get a kill with all these weapons. Simply picking them up is not enough. You do need to get a kill with each relic weapon. Moving on into the abandoned mine, you'll come to this train track here where you'll actually need to be going left. Before you do that, turn right, go to this empty train car for our next component. All right, progressing on a ways, you'll actually go up a lift. You'll have a nice fight on a lake, which is pretty cool. But as soon as you go through that door that I just showed you, immediately across from you is a small tower with our next collectible in it. All right, when you finally actually enter the uh, mine itself, you'll open that door, immediately turn right to this room for our next collectible right on the wall here. And from this collectible, just turn around, you'll see a safe that's gonna house five more components for us. Better we find them in the small. Right, progressing on a little bit you're gonna open these doors and come into this room here a uh, pretty cool little scene I love the graphics in this game but anyway once you get into this room turn left go to the back of the room here on the lift and you will find our next collectible okay you ever think about what happens to people in pots do my best not to 
Right behind that is another electrical box with three more components. There's nothing human left. Just keep looking around. Alright, so once you finish that area, now we're going to go to the East Tower substation, um, which looks like this right here. We'll go ahead and run up to it. We'll go ahead and enter the substation. And once we enter it into the back left of the room will be our next component. Maybe those outsiders. From this component, we'll go into the back room here for our next collectible, which will also complete this side mission and give us two thirds of one of the jack upgrades. It's a security code for a different substation. If we're looking to help our friend, I call that a solid lead. All right, moving on, we're going to go to the East Com Tower, and you're going to have to walk on foot quite a ways, um, and you're going to fight through quite a bit of enemies, so don't feel like you missed something. It's going to take you a minute to get here. But once you finally get to this room, go down the stairs, and you'll find the component right around the stairs. All right, after you've activated the comm tower, you'll go through the door, immediately look right, and you'll find your next component. You'll need to send Jack to grab that one off of the file cabinet. All right, from this component, we'll advance on just a little bit through the next doorway. We're going to go down these stairs here. You can see the electrical box on the other side of the stairs. So before you exit the facility, make sure you grab these five components. All right, so you finish that area, we're going to go northwest to the Condor crash site, and you're going to have quite a battle here. Once you, this is the what you'll see here, this crash Condor, um, once you have finished the battle here, which is a pretty fun battle, um, essentially go up into the crash Condor. As soon as you enter the body of the plane, turn around, and you'll see an electrical box with some components. From these components, just turn right, walk down the body of the plane, and once you come to the open space, turn right, and in the snow will be some more components. Immediately left from those components is a jack upgrade that's inside of a safe, so you need jack to open it, and you'll get the ultimate upgrade for pulse, which is marked for death. Right, around the corner from the crash condor and down so you'll actually go down a hill a little bit so you actually look up that's where you were up there where the crash condor is so really below it um, you can see another symbol here for our next relic weapon which is the bolt talk Alright, moving on to where I'm at here, which is just north of the Condor crash site, um, a little bit north of that little ice rock there. Um, you can see where I am on the map. Uh, right near this frozen lake, you're going to see this kind of structure here that's got snow covered on it. Um, if you look on the other side of that structure, you'll find a component. Alright, so we're going to go to Old Derek site, which is northwest of the Condor crash site. And once we are here, before you actually enter this side mission, turn to the left and we'll find a collectible right here with this downed person who's, you know, been here for a while. From this collectible, just keep going. Right behind this little structure here is three more components. Hey, there's a way up here. All right, once you've cleared out all the enemies in the old Derek site, um, this is a small area, so this is the entire area you're seeing here. We're going to go back to the left, which is going to give us our next collectible and a part of Jack's upgrade. Jack, fetch! Oh. 
some kind of part, which I'm gonna guess just made your day. Nice, that's a great. Yeah, we should. All right, moving on, we're gonna go to the North Tower substation, and this is on our way to a comms tower. As soon as you kind of go past the um, initial portion, you'll be on foot. You'll see this little tower here turn to the right and you'll go through these two um, little structures here on the right and on the back side of that is the boom shot relic hey, look. No by the door. from this relic we're going to run to the other side of the building um, around the corner we're going to find an electrical box with three more components From this collectible, we're going to go to the entrance of this building, and on the keypad, we'll, you know, you actually have to interact with this, you can't really miss it, um, but on the keypad is the next collectible. So let's go ahead and enter this building. After we have got that, we can interact with the keypad here. We'll open the door, and in the back left corner of this room is our next component. Oh, shit! Damn. Once we've collected this collectible, on the back left is a small room. You can see this door here. Enter that, open this safe, and we're going to get the next jack upgrade. Jack, set that safe. All right, so moving into the comm tower itself, um, we've progressed on a little bit. You'll come to this crashed condor. You have to progress through this area. Eventually you'll see this, and you'll have to walk through this plane itself. That's a direct path you have to take. You really can't miss this. It's right in front of you, but it's a safe you can open for three more components. How about some decent stuff here? Come on. Let's head for the compound. Alright, progressing on a little bit, you're going to have a pretty large fight to get through before you get to this area, before you actually enter the comm tower you see here. Um, but you're going to have to climb up this stairway, and when you do, look over to the right, and you'll see a safe with some more components. Zap this safe right. open for me, Jack. All right, from those components, we're actually gonna walk into the actual comm tower itself now. And once we enter this comm tower, immediately to the left will be our next component. A similar layout to the other tower, at least. This should be it. Yeah, it's the console. Same as last time. All right, moving on southeast from that tower, we're going to get to the old Derek site here, and okay, this is where we're going to get out. our next collectible. You know, Uncle fought in Hollow Storm. Said these Derricks launched you underground like a missile. According to him, there were some lost lunches involved. From this collectible, we're actually going to enter the Derek site itself. We're going to have to go all the way across this particular canyon, and we're going to go up this ladder that's on the other side to the actual old Derek itself. And you're going to see a electrical box that you're going to have to interact with. Now, as soon as you interact with it, you're actually going to have quite a bit of fight to undergo. So after that, you'll actually be able to open it. So don't forget to do that after the fight. And once you do that, you'll get a collectible and the third part of a jack upgrade. Hey, 
from that collectible climb down the ladder from where we just were immediately turn right and if you run back here you're going to see these two ice pillars you can actually look into there you'll see some weapons and things that you can get so you can actually shoot these ice pillars to break them once you do that there'll also be some uh, components buried in the snow found some weapons over here So we finished that site. Well, now we're going to get the drop shot relic weapon just south of the northern Condor site. Um, it's actually at the main area of the main mission where you have to get the transmission of the signal source. Um, so you can check the map where I was. You want to grab this drop shot relic weapon before you complete every area in here. So be sure you grab it when I do because it you go ahead and do that signal source part you will lose that weapon you will be at the point of no return and the weapon you'll no longer have it in your inventory so grab it before we go here to the crashed condor site so you can use it here and get the kill with it now outside the crashed condor site the northern one this is the last side mission area you'll find a next component on the right side in uh, kind of this rubble Once you enter the actual crashed Condor site secondary mission, immediately in front of you, um, you'll see some drop pods. Right in front of that will be some more components. Alright, after you have a pretty large battle in the crashed condor site, this way will open up for you through this crashed condor, and you'll see a safe on the ground here. Can't really miss it. Be sure you open that for a jack upgrade. All right, from this jack upgrade, we're going to actually be exiting this secondary mission. We're going to be going through this kind of large ice crevice. Before you drop down at the very end, be sure you turn left, and you'll see this component right on the edge uh, before you drop down to exit the area. So that's actually going to wrap it up for all the collectibles, components, relic weapons, and jack upgrades in Act 2, Chapter 4. That was a beastly chapter for us to be grabbing everything, but I hope you guys have been finding it helpful. If you like my stuff, feel free to like and subscribe. Hopefully we'll see you in Act 2, Chapter 5.